Hey guys, welcome to the best and worst Batman villains on film. Doomsday. In my opinion, Batman v Superman was not that bad. However, Doomsday was anything but a superior nemesis for the Trinity. In the comics, Doomsday was able to defeat the entire Justice League team with one hand tied behind his back and even won a battle against Darkseid himself. So yeah, Doomsday is the worst. The Phantasm In 1993's Batman Mask of the Phantasm, the Dark Knight must stop another vigilante from murdering each member of the Balestra mob with the Joker being the last member alive. The twist is revealed when the Phantasm takes off its mask and it turns out to be Bruce Wayne's ex-lover, Andrea Beaumont. This movie was well received by critics which is why Batman's Mask of the Phantasm is up there with some of the best Batman films. Plus, the twist with the villain shocked everyone. So that goes without saying, the Phantasm is one of the best villains. The Riddler. 1995's Batman Forever featured two villains for the Dark Knight to go up against. Harvey Dent aka Two-Face and Edward Nigma, aka The Riddler. It's the latter that I would say is one of the worst Batman villains on film. Jim Carrey did a great job with what he was given, but the character overall was a miss for me. Besides the silly fact that Enigma was a former employee of Bruce Wayne Enterprise, the idea that the Riddler didn't just use his device to brainwash the rich and powerful to do his biddings directly, instead of robbing people, is just a massive plot hole within his character. Although in my opinion, I really loved his costume, and even his hair. The Joker 1989's Batman movie by Tim Burton was well received by fans, however, it was Jack Nicholson's portrayal of the Joker that really sold it for me. From the Joker's killer smile to his wicked taste for art and music, Tim Burton's take on this classic villain is one of the best out of all of the Batman films. Poison Ivy Who can forget one of the best Batman films to have ever been made, Batman and Robin? Just kidding. Not only was this movie filled with unforgivable flaws, the villains themselves were uniquely bad. Poison Ivy is the most laughable out of all of them. Uma Thurman's portrayal of the redhead villain was insane. I mean, let's be honest, Poison Ivy's plan to team up with Mr. Freeze to eradicate life on Earth, then repopulate it with mutated plants, is just absurd. So, this goes without saying, Poison Ivy is one of the worst villains in all of the Batman films. 